Good morning everyone. This video is recorded just less than a week, like honestly probably three or four days after my last one posted of my butterfly area that's on my porch right now while well, my butterfly room is under construction and um, I'm just doing a quick video before I head to work but I just wanted to kind of show you what I came out to this morning. Um, well first off, our first hatching happened. I walked by it maybe a couple minutes ago and it was still in its chrysalis with Wally when I walked by, um, trying to take him out first thing in the morning and then I came up and then, uh, I don't know, five minutes, six minutes went by and I came back out and he's out. So I cleaned up the blood or whatever it is that came up on the floor, but that's the first one that we have, but we have a second chrysalis here, a third one there, and let's see, we have two more here. And then we have a bunch down here. And these are just some um, candlesticks that I picked up at the thrift store that are actually really heavy. So as we get these afternoon thunderstorms, they can hold up and I don't have to worry about them knocking over. Um, but I have just one on a leaf here, two on this leaf here, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. So that's one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, I've got this guy in here, five. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve chrysalis right now. We still have a handful of little cats in here. Just taking it easy. It's already like 90 degrees out and it's not even eight o'clock yet. I'm pretty sure it's like 86 out right now. And it's super humid. So I actually switched. They're still in their floral tubes in here, but I just put them in a glass vase, another thrift store find, because I didn't like, like look at how quickly these things get dirty. It's really hard to clean them. I was just not, not loving it. It's really a pain in the ass. And like, um, if you saw the other videos, I had some chrysalis that like were in here, you know, hanging from here. And I just, I pulled them out with tweezers and I was able to transport them, but it's just unnecessary brisk, I feel like, so. I'm gonna let these guys hang out in this glass container and see how we do for a couple of days. I mean, they're already pretty big, so it's not like they're gonna be here too long anyways before they start making their little chrysalis, but um, I wanna try giving this a shot just because I think it might be easier than the other racks. Um, not too much other updates to share other than, holy guacamole, all the chrysalis just kind of popped up. And I'll let uh, you guys take one more look at this guy hasn't even opened its wings yet so I don't know I don't know how it's doing it's still early stage it's only been out for a few minutes here but that's all guys just wanted to give you a quick update on all of our little butterflies um, in my little temporary structure around my butterfly room is being uh, reimagined after all of the storms and stuff we've been having here lately but hope you have a good day make sure you subscribe if you want to see more about Florida gardening Florida butterfly stuff. I do a lot of monarchs, hoping to do some swallowtails later on. So yeah, stay tuned for more videos.